Good evening, everyone, or good, I guess, still afternoon here in Los Angeles. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with uh, the Jaspies Nine Box Conference Finals Basketball Mixer from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into it. And all the 30 teams are in. And let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list three and a two, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, we've got Stephen O'Donnell down to Eric, Eric S. Three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and five. After I said five, right? Yeah, five. Three and a two. Hornets down to the Clippers. All right, so Stephen O'Donnell, you have the Charlotte Hornets. Drew with the Spurs. Derek with the Bucks. Daniel with the Pelicans. Carlos with the Hawks. Joe Russell with the Suns. EO with the Celtics, Jared with the Timberwolves, Eric S. with the Wizards, Karen with the Rockets, Chris with the Cavs, Virgilio, you have the Nuggets, Trevor with the Pistons, Adam with the Pacers, Daniel with the Magic, Trevor with the Trailblazers, Scott with the Knicks, Drew with the Thunder, Jeremy with the Raptors, Matt Bodner, you have the Nets, Levi with the Bulls, Jared with my Lakers, David with the Jazz, Chris Parent with the Mavs, Daniel with the Heat, Jeremy with the Grizz, Mike Tower with the Kings, Dennis, you got the uh, last spot mojo, Golden State Warriors are playing tonight, Rashad with the 76ers, and Eric Sala with the Clippers. Let's alphabetize these by team. Any trades? Matt has the Nets for trade. If anybody's interested in Matthew's Nets. Now, remember to keep in mind the different years. 13, 14, 17, 18, and then 18, 19. So just keep all that in mind before you start trading. Keep those rookie classes in mind. I have all these boxes, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right. Yeah, I'm set. There's all the boxes right here. Give it a few few extra moments. No, nothing. Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Trade window closed. TWC. Let's print. Let's rip. Let's do this. Hopefully I have all the supplies I need here. I think we're good. We'll figure it out. Here is the official printout. There it is. Thanks, everyone. And good luck to everybody, of course. All right, uh, let's start in the past first. Let's go all the way back to 2013-14. And that is this Panini Preferred Basketball box. Remember when they were this, these huge boxes? There it is, three autographs and one booklet card. Good luck, everybody. Look at the book first. 62 out of 99 decades. Nice. That's really cool. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Robert Parrish. And on the AIDS part, Alex English, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Moses Malone. Decades. That's awesome. So, one happy person. 
One sad person. 62 out of 99 on that one. So we'll randomize that at the end of the break. Set that aside. Colton, what's going on? You're welcome, man. That was a that was a nice break. All right, yes, Mike Tower. This is the Giannis here. Yeah, EO Celtics are great to get. They're always one of the more expensive teams in pick your teams. All right, first one is Mark Price for the Cavs. Old Mark Price. That'll go to Chris Parent with the Cavaliers. Two out of 25. Next up is a die cut autograph for the Lakers. It's Marshawn Brooks. I forgot that Marshawn Brooks was a Laker. All right. 16 out of 49 for the Lakers. Jared S. with my Lakers. And the last one here is Gordon Hayward. NBA Pride Gordon Hayward Autograph Jazz Edition. David Bruins. Nine out of 20. In this regard, but, you know, All right, and the next one here in this mixer, let's go to 1718, status basketball. Where is status? It's all the way over here. Lonzo on the front. The, bu the buzz around town here in Los Angeles, folks. <laughs> what are the Lakers going to do with that pick? That fourth pick. Who can they trade it for? Should they keep the pick? Should they trade the pick? Trade the pick for who? With who? For whom? Don't know. So that'll, that'll be, the, that'll be uh, the Lakers topic of conversation for the next month, basically. <laughs> Uh, what do I think of the new coach? I think it's fine. I, I I don't I don't mind Frank Vogel. He's being announced on Monday. I think there'll be a press conference. Um, I think he's fine. You know, he's yeah, mixed results as a head coach, right? You know, pretty solid in Indiana, not very good at all in Orlando. But he's pretty young, but still with a lot of experience. I mean, I'm not too certain about, you know, is having Jason Kidd as an assistant coach, like a, a high-level assistant coach, is that a good dynamic or a bad one? I don't know. Is that too many chefs in the kitchen? Could be. No, but I'm not, I'm not disappointed about that. I'm not worried about the, the coaching. I'm I'm a little more concerned about, you know, how's the what, what's the what's the front office doing? They, like, what's their plan? What's their structure? It just seems like they're just shooting from the hip most of the time. There's DeAndre Jordan, two ninety nine. So I don't know if there's a clear path or direction that we're trying to trying to go for. I mean, I guess it's obvious, but you got to make the most of. LeBron's years, right, here in L.A. There's Ante Zizic, new breed. Not that I need full transparency from an organization. I, I understand that, you know, as a business, sometimes you have to keep some things close to the, close to the vest. The vest? The chest? That goes to Cleveland. That'll be for Chris Parent. So, I don't know. But you got to make the most of this guy right here. There he is, that guy, number 23, LeBron James. That's still Cavs edition. Patrick Goodwin's here saying, Lakers trade uh, the fourth round pick, you mean the, the fourth pick, 
and Lonzo Ball for Anthony Davis. And a future first, is that what you're trying to say? I, does that move the needle? If, if you're the Pelicans, do you do that? You know, I guess you get you get Zion and the fourth pick and Lonzo. Maybe. Pelicans wouldn't do that though, I would think. I, I don't think that deal is gonna happen. There's Nikola Vucevic. Lakers have a better chance of getting Nikola Vucevic. But There's Larry Bird. It's 299. There's a chance the Pelicans might even want to keep, you know. May want to may want to keep Anthony Davis. Try to keep him keep him around. All right, let's move on to the next year. Optic Fast Break Edition, which I think is this little smaller box right here. No, which is this box right here. Jeff Myers, you, you picked up the last spot in that $300 giveaway. Appreciate that. And PayPal's trying to bill you a hundred. We're not charging a hundred million dollars for that. We're only charging a, a million dollars for it. So PayPal must have added another hundred and ninety-nine million dollars to that bill. You tell them they're wrong. But yeah, Presley's right. Pelicans would want Ball, Ingram, and a first, probably Kuzma. Yeah, pick Lonzo and Kuz at least, says Ray. Yeah, so Patrick. You're, uh, I think you're underestimating what, uh, <laughs> what the Pelicans would require to move Anthony Davis. Especially when the Knicks can give him the third pick. And, like, Kevin Knox and Dennis Smith Jr. You know, so then the Pelicans would have Zion, the third pick, and, like, Kevin Knox. A first rounder from last year. Meanwhile, the Knicks add KD, Anthony Davis, and Kyrie, which would be kind of crazy. And some of the whatever role players that they have there. I'm sure the Lakers will try to make some trade offers for Anthony Davis. Not terribly. I mean, I have no idea what's going to happen, obviously, but. Not terribly optimistic about that. All right, but I think they are going to trade that. Try to trade that pick, though. Here's Eric Bledsoe to eighty-five. Ray is reporting that Kyrie to L.A. Lakers is a quote done deal. Really. Well, in that case, I actually don't think that the Lakers would be able to afford both Kyrie and Anthony Davis. They'd have to move a lot of salary. Like for like they like the Pelicans would have to be willing to take a lot of salary, which I don't know if they want to do. That's that's interesting. I'll take I'll take Kyrie. I have no problem with Kyrie. There's Willie Hernan Gomez. But, well, listen, as a, as a Laker fan, Presley, I, I, I definitely hope that they keep their young core as much of it as possible. Definitely Kuzma, though. There he is. Definitely this guy. He's got a good attitude. He's got a chip on his shoulder. You know what I mean? I don't think he's... I think what you're kind of seeing from him is what is is his ceiling. I don't know if his ceiling is much higher than that, but he's a very very solid player. 
you know, and that's that's kind of what you need on that team. You know, when when you shut down star players, you want to be able to look at Kyle Kuzma and have him have him be able to take over um, moments in a game. What I like about another another thing I like about uh, Kyle Kuzma is that. Um, towards the end of the season, when the Lakers really LeBron was shut down, there nothing to play for. Kuzma was doing kind of these weird things on the court. He's taking shots that he normally wouldn't take and doing some some sort of things. And he explained in a post game press conference, he was just like, "Yeah, he's like, I'm just trying to, I'm just taking this opportunity to expand my game, try to do things that I normally wouldn't do, and try to develop a different part of my game." And they're like. Well, did the coaches tell you to do that, or are you just kind of doing this on your own? And he's just like, I'm kind of just doing it on my own, you know? Like, I still want to win, but... And I was like, I, I thought that was a really great attitude from, from, from Kyle Kuzma. Like, he's actively looking to... He's thinking about expanding his game, you know? So, I thought that was encouraging. All right, redemption is... Wayne Selden, rated rookie signatures from Fast Break Edition. I think he is a Grizzly, right? If I'm not mistaken. In this 17-18 set, he would have been a Grizzly. <laughs> Patrick Goodwin's talking reckless here. Patrick Goodwin... With a, with a hot take artist, apparently. Kyrie and LeBron James would win the Lakers a championship next year. No. That is false. It'd be a lot closer. They're not beating the Warriors in seven, though. Um, okay, what's the next year after that? 17-18, Optic, just regular Optic right here, not Fast Break Edition. This edition. Now, if the Lakers had... If the Lakers had Kyrie, LeBron James, and Brooke Lopez, which I don't... I, I wish they would have re-signed for a number of years, and Brooke Lopez, and Julius Randle, that starts to get interesting, I think. That starts to get interesting. And with that, Patrick's out. Good night. <laughs> um, what's up, Logan? What's going on? But yeah, they, they, the Lakers had that kind of team, and they maybe they, they had played together for for a season or so. Yeah, I could I could see see that team. Look what Brook Lopez did the other night, last night. Who does everyone have for tonight's game? Is anyone giving the Trailblazers a shot? That game is in about a little over an hour. Golden State minus six and a half. <laughs> Redmond fifty four. Easy with the uh, with the caps, man. Warriors minus six and a half tonight. Trailblazers have a shot in Oakland. Yeah, I always like Randall. He's a solid player too. No Kevin Durant for the Warriors. And I know there are some Defensive mishaps for the uh, for the Trailblazers, you know, just letting Curry shoot and all that from anywhere. So maybe they'll maybe they'll figure that out. What do the Wizards do? They're saddled with the John Wall contract, the Bradley Beal deal. There's some Darius Thornwell, Black Velocity for the Clippers. That'll go to Eric S. Five out of thirty-nine. Are the Clippers getting Kawhi? There's Paul George to 79. Your own 
A lot of interesting. I think I think this off season, the draft and the off season, I think is going to be really interesting. Markel Fultz on the Magic. That's going to be interesting. You know, do the Celtics trade Jason Tatum and whatever and, and picks? May I don't know to to the to get Anthony Davis. I don't know. There's Grant Hill to ninety nine. Alfred's thinking Anthony Davis trade could happen, but very doubtful. Where? where? Lakers, maybe? I mean, what if he's hellbent on going to the Lakers? You know? Isn't Kemba a free agent, too? See, that, see the offseason's going to be really interesting. There's a lot going on. Trades, free agents... Draft picks that could be moved around, you know. Then you got to think: Does does Anthony Davis, if let's say he gets traded to the Knicks, do, does he want to stay in New York or is he out after next season? I think he's a free agent after the following season. What happens there? There's your autograph right there coming up, and it's signature series of Mike Muscala. Remember when the Lakers just gave away Zubac? Colton thinks Kemba is the most underrated point guard in the league. He's great. I wouldn't mind it. I think he is a free agent, right? Can someone confirm or deny that? There's DeLon Wright. I'll get a little focus there. It's a 99. That's for the Raptors. All right, next box. Is going to be eighteen nineteen. Prison Blaster. So now we're in the current draft class. The new draft class is going to happen in about a month. So there's there's a lot that's gonna there's a lot that's gonna happen. Presley was saying earlier, they said Fultz has taken 150,000 shots. Bad shots, but many shots. Mike Tower made three. Steve Gins is saying, hey, Kawhi Leonard has 50 million reasons to stay with the Raptors. What if he really doesn't like, uh, what if he really doesn't like Toronto? Like the city. I know he likes the people, the fans, the team, but I don't know. Terry Rozier to the Lakers. That could be interesting. Steve thinks that Kyrie's not going to play with LeBron again. But they they had that little uh, that little uh, makeup session, you know, where where they kind of buried the hatchet. You know, he called LeBron and said, "Hey, I didn't know how hard it was to be a leader of a team." You know, and then LeBron had that Instagram post about, you know, let's rewind, let's go back, back, back. That Fetty Wap song. You think he's going to go to the Knicks with Durant? That's a that's a strong possibility. We've got sensational swatches, Elio Kobu for the Suns. That's going to go to Joe Russell. Durant, Kyrie, and then a pick. All right, next box, let's go Prism Retail. That is true. See, he does have a better chance to win with Durant in the East than with LeBron in the West. We'll see what happens. I mean, it's so, for like the Lakers situation, I'm a Lakers fan, the Lakers situation is so... Uh, it, it, it's so fluid. It could, it could go anywhere. Like I, you can speculate endlessly about that. <coughs> A 
Uh, what does it mean for the promo with National Treasures? Any spot randoms? I'm not sure what your, what your question is. Luis. Um, I think, are we saying that any... Right, so we, we would randomize the people in the spot randoms too. That's what that means. It is going to be a great summer. Yes, the Lakers were very fortunate to get the fourth pick in the draft. It gives them a lot of options. Kyrie, AD, and Durant win championship in New York. Man, that would be insane. And then Spike Lee directs them all in Space Jam 2. And LeBron makes a decision to go play with the Monstars. Cam Reddish to LA? No, I think the, the buzz is that some other kid is going to go to... Some other kid, if, if the Lakers don't end up trading the, uh, the pick, a lot of people are suggesting that, uh, that Darius Garland, I think, is going to be the pick for the Lakers. Because I think he has a relationship with, with, uh, with Clutch Sports, LeBron's team. That's that's the rumor anyway. There's Baron Davis, Red Wave. These greens aren't numbered, but they will ship. But we'll see. I think he was uh the problem with with Darius Garland is that uh, points we'll randomize that is that he was out for most of last season with a, with a knee injury but he's supposed to be really good Luis yes the National Treasure Spot Rams have been in the store are in the store jaspiescasebreaks.com there it's a Cleveland Brown serial number and then uh, it'll be like the Cardinals Ravens blah 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 serial number thing there's Kevin Huter. Kobe. Mo Wagner, Trey Young. That's another one too. Michael Porter Jr. could be interesting. He was out all last season because of injuries, and then he's kind of he's going to come back. A lot of people really like him. And if it wasn't for the injury, there's some that speculated he could have been, what, top five, top three pick maybe? I think I would, we were, there's Landry Shamit, Sixers edition. I think we were looking at Mike, Michael Porter Jr., Mike, a little while ago, and I think... Uh, I, I think it was kind of his entire family seemed like they all had injury issues. Like his sister plays college basketball, and then like she was down with injuries. And he's got like a brother that plays, and he's down with injuries. So they have a, you know, maybe, maybe they are, that family is gen genetically predisposed to have weak bones or limbs, <laughs> ligaments. All right, the next one is certified at basketball. It's right here. All right, the whole Porter family can all get together for Thanksgiving with all the Yeah, they, they can. They won't be playing any games. Breaks man says, Suns need Garland, but we got the sixth pick. Yeah, that's it's rigged, right? It's rigged in the sense that it seems like the the 
the NBA definitely wanted to to punish the quote unquote tanking teams, and then gave the top two picks to the Pelicans and the Grizzlies, who were far from having the worst record, or one of the worst records in basketball. I think we should see the actual process happen. Right? Like let's see let's see all of the ping pong balls being mixed around and and let's see like the number of ping pong balls, let's see them getting dumped into the thing and I want to see that process happening. Why do we not see that? It's like me not showing the random dot like it's not me like not doing a randomizer on screen. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, that guy won. And everyone's like, okay. It's kind of weird. I'd be fine if it's just random.org. There's rookie roll call autograph, Jacob Evans. I'm fine if it's random.org. But let's just see it. Let's just see someone doing it publicly. I don't think we get that. It's just like the assistant VP of Bas NBA League Operations or something like that wanders out and just unfolds envelopes with cards inside. What's up with that? Right, because, I, yeah, exactly. I want Chris Lombardo agrees. The fact that Secret is fishy as a fan, I want to see it live and understand the process. Right. If I see all the ping pong balls being dumped into this big thing and then the, the, the vacuum sucks out like it's a ping pong ball and says, yeah, okay, it's Pelican's number one pick, I'd be like, all right, I saw it. What am I supposed to say? I can't say that it's rigged, but I don't know. Imagine if I did, imagine, we got, we got to randomize that and that, right? Imagine if I did that without showing random.org on the screen. You guys would melt down. You guys would be like, what's going on? And it's just like, oh, uh... You know, so and so got it, and they'd be like, "Rigged." That'd be the first thing out of your guys' mouth. You gotta put it on. You gotta put it on camera. Come on, Adam Silver. Uh, Colton, are you in this break? I don't know. You tell me. Did you get a receipt for this break? I don't see your name here. In this basketball mixer. Jersey Nottos V. Mahaliak. He was also traded. 45 out of 149. Could be future Kyle Korver, maybe. Still Lakers edition. That'll go to Jared. And there's Julius Irving for the Sixers. Nice. 13 out of 149. Rashad with the 76ers. Right, yeah. And I think it would also just make a better spectacle. I agree with you, Chris Lombardo. If they just televised it, it would just be, just be a better spectacle too. Just make for better TV instead of having some guy open envelopes and show you cards with team logos on it. Oh, that's a good question, Alfred. Is it game used? It is. Pretty cool, huh? Nice. All right, two boxes to go. I think we'll save the Court Kings for last, so let's do this 1819 Donruss Optic Basketball first. Maybe this guy. Wait, you did buy into it?
Why do I not see your name on the list? Well, Colton, sorry, Colton. I'm going to look into this after this break. Let me finish this break first. There may be, we may have put the wrong name into the list, so you may have a spot in here. But just under a, under a different name. We must have added someone that shouldn't be in this break. So let me double check that after the break. If we can't figure out clearly what team you were supposed to have, then um, we'll obviously refund that spot. Sorry about that. I agree, Chris. Chris saying it kind of, it's funny because you would think they want to be completely open, especially since the whole Patrick Ewing controversy. But even now, the process itself also seemed rigged. It's like, hey, Anthony Davis wants to leave New Orleans, but hey, not so fast. You could play with Zion. Like they're trying, they're they're they're, they're king making. It's like it's like they're king making in smoky back rooms, you know. I don't know. Ain't no one got time. Ain't no one got time for that. Thanks, Colton. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, yeah, the, the Pelicans had a 6% chance, right? But I, I want to see like 100 ping pong balls six ping pong balls for the Pelicans and then put it in the machine. Like, I, I want to see that. Give me all of that. I'd watch that. Put it on TV, sell ads. My, we would be transfixed. It'd be great for advertisers. There's Miles Turner to 79. To 49, Andre Drummond. Bruce Brown, Kobe, Josh Jackson, Dirk Nowitzki to 199, Rudy Gobert, Gold. Eight out of ten. Nice. His teammate Jamal Murray. Or no, not his teammate. His enemy. Um I see I go I keep going back and forth on that, Chris. Whether Davis stays or not. At first I thought, oh, Davis is staying. Like nine of the lottery. I, I think a lot of people heard me say, Oh, he's staying, he's staying, he's staying. You know? But But then I realized, well, what if Davis after a year goes, you know what? Yeah, I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm just I'm still gonna walk, you know. I'm out. Then what? I think that maybe maybe you strike while the iron is hot, right? Clear out the team, you know, or clear out Anthony Davis, you know. Then you get Zion. Then you get another top five, top four pick. You know, add that. Those two rookies can grow together. And then you kind of build around that young core. 
you know, and you go from there. There's Ronnie Hollis Jefferson to 99. Well, yeah, it depends on if the NBA is rigged or not. And there's Hamadou Diallo for the Thunder. That goes to Drew Kerr with the OKC Thunder. All right, now let's see what we have in our last box. 1819 Core Kings. That's right. How many do all your dunk champion? Had some really sick dunks, too. All right, what do we got here? Where, where are our hits? I don't even know how this. The configuration of this is. There's Jalen Brown. Paul George. Chris Stops. And your autograph is Mo Bamba. Nice fresh paint on card autograph. I think they did a really good job of this Court Kings this past year. That goes to Daniel Batera and the Orlando Magic. Eighty-five out of one ninety-nine, and your second autograph, Brian Scalabrini, for the Celtics. That goes to E. O. and the C's. Drew's happy about that, Hamadou Diallo. <laughs> Wait, you have an alternate blue jersey of him? There's level three, Kevin Knox. He has an alternate blue jersey that he wore during that. And he <laughs> Drew saying he might have been the only person in the world to have an Hamadou Diallo jersey before that dunk contest, before that night. I believe it. I believe it. I saw him in some highlights. He looked like he, he has ups. Let's go back to this screen right here. Everyone has a chance at the 150 points. And that Decades card, that Decades book, which is really cool, featured Boston Celtics, Lakers, Boston Celtics, uh, Denver Nuggets, Lakers, Sixers, and Pistons. That's this one right here. Okay. One dice roll for those last two randomizers. Seven times. Lucky seven. One and a six. Points first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. Name on top is going to be Jared. No doubt about it. He had the top two spots. Uh, seven times for the book. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a one, seventh and final time. Team on top, Lakers. There you go, after seven times. And that goes to, that goes to Jared S. as well. There you go, Jared. There's the Decades book right there. Pretty cool. 62 out of 99. And look, all game-worn material, which is also a nice little touch. And there you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.